everyone, welcome back to Lifestyle Love as part of the food efficiency series that I'm making for you. I was doing the financial fast or frugal February as one of my subscribers like to call it. I realized I was wasting or spending a lot of money cruising cafes. And whilst Rocco and I love our morning routine where we take the dogs for a walk, get, I get an almond milk cappuccino and we share a muffin or some banana bread, I realized that $10 here, $5 there, $12 there, you know, it was all, it, every day it was really starting to add up and be quite a large amount of money. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love supporting my local cafes around my home and my work. And I've met some amazing people in those cafes. So doing the financial fast made me stop and look at ways that I can kind of cut down on my snacking because to be honest, I don't just snack in the morning. I also snack in the afternoon when I start to get a little bit tired from a busy day. <coughs> you can have some water. So I came up with some ideas to help me cut down on my cafe cruising um, habit that was starting to become a little bit more expensive. And I definitely didn't want to completely cut it out, but I just wanted to sort of reduce it a little bit more and have a better balance on the way I was using money. So I came up with six different ideas that have really helped me save some money on snacking and I wanted to share them with you. First suggestion is water. I carry around this Vita Jewel water bottle everywhere I go. I must have been a camel in another life because I can drink a large amount of water in a very short period of time. By staying hydrated, not only do you feel better, but you're less likely to snack and also you're less likely to overeat when you do sit down and have a proper meal. Also, hydration improves your concentration skills. The second thing that helped me save money on snacking is actually nuts. Now, I keep my nuts in the freezer at home, but, and I also have a Tupperware container in my desk at the office, but all, I carry around in just a Ziploc um, plastic bag a handful of nuts. So if I'm running in between meetings and haven't had time to grab a meal, or I'm just simply a little bit peckish and would feel like a muffin, I can actually go and um, grab a handful of these and they normally satisfy me for at least an hour or two. The third thing that I like to carry around to stop me from snacking is some homemade cookies. Now these are my mum's homemade Anzac cookies and they're so good. They're also so good for the soul to eat homemade biscuits. But I'm going to be putting the recipe on the Sugar Mama website because these are really easy to make, they're super cheap and they're absolutely delicious. And again, if you feel like something sweet and you're you know, going to grab something, you know, like a, a chocolate bar or, you know, sugary cake or cupcake or slice or muffin, carrying around homemade biscuits is a fantastic option to help save money. Fourth thing to help stop me from snacking are eggs. Now, I find that if I have eggs for breakfast or if I have eggs before, you know, having to do a, a big project where I need to really sort of concentrate for an extended period of time, by eating eggs, um, they tend to fill me up for a lot longer and because I'm full, I, you obviously don't lose my concentration, but I don't need to get up and snack. So if you can have some eggs before, you know, going out or even carry around in a Tupperware container some freshly boiled eggs. Fifth tip for saving money on snacking is mint. So chewing on some gum or sucking on a mint lozenger or simply just giving your teeth a really good brush with some toothpaste will give you that minty taste where anything you've got to put in your mouth afterwards will just taste absolutely foul and you'll want to just delay um, eating until that minty taste has passed. So a great tip for when you're maybe bored and not necessarily hungry or you know emotionally eating, just go clean your teeth or um, have some gum. And my sixth and final tip for saving money on snacking is invest in high quality foods. So as you guys know, I have a very sweet tooth. I am, I love chocolate bars and I have no self-control when it comes to um, chocolate bars. I can't just buy a chocolate bar and have a couple of squares. I have to eat the whole entire thing. So a friend of mine suggested that instead of buying sort of the normal chocolate that I buy, that I actually spend a little bit more money and buy a high quality chocolate with a, a high percentage of cocoa. And I tried this and it really helped. I found that I didn't need to eat nearly as much chocolate and it satisfied me a lot quicker and I didn't feel like I needed to go back for more sort of half an hour later. Don't forget that a couple of dollars saved here and there can really add up over the course of a year. And you could actually put those savings to better use if you wanted to, whether that be paying down debt, building up savings or investing in your financial future. They're all great things that you can do for yourself. 
That's it for this video. Ciao for now and I will see you next week on Lifestyle Love. Ciao!